Hey guys, what's up? It's Corpse Gaming. Today we're gonna do Nizan's God Guide, uh, Nizan's God Guide, but before we get into that, I have a very special announcement. Uh, I don't think it's 100% official yet, but I've just gotten through all the paperwork with R RPM Network, and I've signed off on a contract with RPM so that I am partnered with RPM. Not officially, but I'm pretty sure it's coming. That's one of the reasons I haven't uploaded in a while. Another reason is my recorder hasn't been working right. Uh, third is my computer broke, so I had to fix that. And also, I was at my cabin. So that's why I haven't recorded for you guys. I wish I can. And also, another thing is school started up, so that was kind of a thing in the way, too. So I really want to get back on top of my upload schedule, so hopefully we can do that. So, yeah, let's get into Nija's God Guide. So let's start off with Nija's passive. Child of the Lotus. When Nija dies, his indomitable spirit is reborn from a lotus at his location, healing allies in a 30 foot radius for 10% of Nija's maximum health every second and increasing their protections by 30 for 6 seconds. Nija's basic attack also utilizes a force swing chain with escalating damage and swing time, hitting all enemies in front of him on the final blow. His first ability Universal Ring Toss. Nija throws a universal ring, balancing it to nearby enemies up to a maximum of 7 times. Each hit deals a maximum of 170 damage plus 20% of your physical power as damage. Applies a stack 15 physical protection debuff for 3 seconds and slows the enemy for 25% for 1 second. Each successful hit also applies a 5% stack movement speed buff to Nija for 2 seconds. Nija's second ability, Flaming Spear. Nija empowers himself with Fighting Spirit, igniting a spear for 55 increased attack speed and 15 critical strike chance for a maximum of 6 seconds. His third ability, Amario, Amario Lash. Uh, Nija throws out his Amario, Amario Lash 10 feet forward, hitting the first enemy god in its path. The target is stunned for one second as Nija yanks himself toward the enemy, dealing a maximum of 190 damage plus 100% of your physical power damage to all enemies in the area when he arrives. Now for Nija's path or ultimate, wind fire wheels, ultimate. Nija dashes forward. If he hits an enemy god, he knocks it skywards for four seconds, unleashing a combo that deals a, a maximum of 100 and 20 damage plus 30% 30 30 of your physical power per hit. Successfully time clicks during the combo, utilized in critical strikes, then lash, smashing him back into the earth and dealing a maximum of 220 plus 50% of your physical power as additional damage to enemies in the radius as he flips back to his starting location. Now for the items you want to build for Nisha. The first item, the Warrior Tabby. It gives you plus 30 physical power and plus 9% attack speed. The second item you want would be Rage. It gives you plus 20 physical power and plus 30 f critical strike chance and plus 15 attack speed. Uh, his the third item you want would be Deathbringer. It gives you plus 50 physical power and plus 20% critical strike chance. Its passive critical strike damage is increased by 50%. The third item you want would be the Executioner. It gives you plus 30 physical power and plus 20% attack speed. It's passive basic attacks against an enemy during your target's physical protection. Reduce your f target's physical protection by 7% and an additional 5 points for 3 seconds. Maximum 3 stacks. The thir fifth item you want would be the Titan's Vein. It gives you plus 30 physical, physical power and it's passive. All of your physical attacks gain 33 physical penetration. The sixth and final item you want would be the Void Blade, or sorry, Focused Void Blade. It gives you plus 30 physical power and plus 15 physical protection. It's passive, you gain plus 25 physical penetration. So with Nija, uh, the, uh, the starter item, or the, I forget what they're called, but it's called Blink, and I would really, really suggest getting it, and get the one that get, allows you to go in combat you'll see in the video I blink a couple times and I well they'll running away because Nija you pretty much chase your enemies to where they go to get the kill 
So blink just will teleport you right there. Just slash. You can just if they're really low, just slash them once or twice, and then head back to your base. So yeah, that's how I build Nisha. See, look at right here. Boom, like that. That's perfect blink example. So thanks for watching, guys. Oh, and another thing. Uh, this weekend I will not be uploading a video, or I might. I don't know yet, but I am starting to upload more because I haven't been. So look forward to that. So thanks for watching. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe. Clubs Gaming, out.